What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dendi and I'm going to be your instructor in this QBasic course. My goal of this video series is to make you understand QBasic language in simplest way as possible. So without further ado, let's get started. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. This is the first video of this series and in this video we'll be talking about variables and constant in QBasic. So let's start with constant. So what is constant? As the name suggests, constant is that entity whose value does not change during whole program execution. And in QBasic, we can define constant by const keyword, C-O-N-S-T. So let's try to define constant in our QBasic program. So syntax is C-O-N-S-T and the constant uh, name. Uh, in our case, I'll give X and with a value of 10. So here, what we have done is we have defined a constant x with a value of 10. So if our understanding is right, then we should not be able to change the value of x in the same program. But first, let's print the value of x and in QBasic, we have print keyword in order to display the output. So in order to print the value of x, we can write print and anything we want to print. In our case it is x so if we run this program then we should be able to see 10 in our output window so in order to run the program in QBasic there is a command called shift and f5 this black window is called output window and in this black window we will be able to see the result output of any code that we have written in command window so in order to exit this black window we can press any key and we'll be back to the command window. And now let's clear our doubt that constant cannot be changed in the same program. For that, let's try to change the value of x in the same program. So let's change the value of x before printing. So x equals 20. And let's try to run the program. So as we can see that there is an error box appeared which says duplication or duplicate definition which means if we define our x as a constant then x value cannot be changed or it cannot have two values. But if we want to change the value of x then we can change it at the point of definition which is here. So if we type here the x uh, 20 then if we print the output then we can see 20 but there is also 10 which is a problem since we didn't want 10 and here comes the another important keyword which is CLS the function of CLS keyword in QAC is to clear the output screen in our program we are just printing the value of X which is 20 but when we run this program we are seeing 10, 20 and 20 which means we are also seeing the previous output and we can fix this problem simply by entering CLS keyword at the beginning of our program. Now if we run this program we should be getting expected output which is 20 and now our program is working correctly. So this is the importance of writing CLS keyword in every at the beginning of every QBasic program we write. So that is all you need to learn about constant in QBasic. So let's move to the variables. Opposite to the constant, variable are changeable. And due to this property in programming, variable are mostly used rather than the constant. In QBasic, we can define variable simply by writing the name of variable and its value. In QBasic, basically there are two types of variables. One is numeric, which stores numeric value like int, float, etc. And another is string variable, which stores string data like words, sentence, etc. So let's define variables in QBasic. But before that, I want to remind you that while programming every time, we should enter CLS at the beginning of the program. Now let's define a numerical variable x with a value of 10 and another is a string variable. Okay, I'll give a name a dollar and of 
value okay so remember that a numerical value can be defined easily by naming and giving its value but while defining a string variable we should enter dollar sign at the last of the variable name and value of string variable should be contained in double in red comma so let's print this variables print x and print a dollar so let's see the result in this way we can use the variables in QBase. but we have also said that the value of variable can be changed in same program so let's try to change the value of x and a dollar so before printing let's change the value of x from 10 to 20 and a dollar from apple to orange so now the expected result if our understanding is right then expected result is 20 and orange not 10 and apple so let's see that so as we can see that 20 and orange is printed thus now we can say that the value of variable can be changed in same program and that is all you need to learn about variables and constant the program that we have written till now is meaningless and useless in our daily life so let's try to write a meaningful program by combining the constant and variable we have learned the program that we are going to write is finding area of circle and it is useful while finding the area of circle of our math textbooks so let's start with cls remember cls as a father since father always compass so let's define a constant pi which cannot be changed pi and let's assign a value of 3.14 I'm assigning 3.14 but you can assign on your choice so let's define a variable r as a radius and I would like to give a value of 7 and another variable area with a formula of circle so formula of circle is pi into r and power 2 so in this way we can write the formula in programming and let's print the area A -R -E. so now if our coding and formula is right then it should give the area of circle whose radius is 7 so let's see the result 153.86 is the area of circle so in this way we can solve the area of circle problems of our math textbooks and that's all for this video if you have any queries or suggestions please comment down below and i'll be back in the next video till then stay safe stay healthy and wait for my video